how to collaborate with stakeholders the human way. And for me, it's, it's built up on the other two topics, but it's really all about get, getting, giving them the understanding of why do you want to involve them? Why do you contact them? Why do you re reach out to them in the first place? And being transparent with that. It's very, very easy to be transparent with the CEO. It's important for us that you're involved because of X, Y, Z. It's important that we engage the local authorities in a specific thing because of X, Y, Z. There are a lot of people who are kind of working in gray zones. They're not truly saying why they're contacting people. My experience is if you're upfront with, I would love to engage with you because of this and this and this, then they can decide if they want to support this initiative or not, or at least want to hear and learn more. And then you start building that relationship where you go into that. So if you're saying, yes, I would, I would love to hear more, then invite them to contribute. Invite them to share their knowledge. Invite them to, to see the opportunities in being part of the journey of where you're on. Specifically, if you build an innovation, new innovation ecosystem in your organization, which is um, an organism in itself, you need a lot of supporters because it's always going to be difficult in moving things. And then when, when, when they're in, when they're willing to contribute, be clear of your expectations towards them. What you expect and what, how do you see their role? If you're able to say that clearly in the beginning, it's not just why they should contribute as, as well, give them an opportunity to say, I could see you in this and this and this way, and I would love you to take that role. Um, so if you have clear expectations towards them, then they can, again, contribute in a way better way than if you're unclear of how they can contribute, what they could do and how they could do that. And then, of course, involve them. When we look into kind of stakeholder management and um, ways of engagement, collaboration, of course, there are always going to be kind of workshops, kind of engagements where different people will meet each other. So. Do that in a strategic way where you involve people and go back to the first question, which was the mapping. If the CEO and the CFO are closer, then you can put them together in a way that it is supporting you. So if you do this strategically as well with external stakeholders, putting the right people together inside of workshops, inside of engagements, inside of brainstormings, whatever you do and wherever you see the value of people contributing, and don't forget that it's valuable to them as well. This, this will help. And that's not just stopping with the workshop. I see a lot of mistakes in this world where you invite someone to a workshop and then thank you very much. And then you kind of accept it's a client, then you're not engaging with them anymore. Share the progress, share what's going on and let them be part of that journey. Maybe they have been just initially um, in a brainstorming. If you involve customers in what you're doing, Involve them more. Share what's going on. Hey, thank you very much for being this. By the way, we have, we're sharing a little bit what's going on in this place and that place. Please have a look. Thank you very much. Do you remember this idea what you have uh, submitted? Do, do you remember this discussion? Um, this, is, this is where we are and this is where we are going. And we just want to, to highlight that you have been a big part of that. And I know this is effort. Um, a lot of organizations, a lot of people, a lot of project managers, uh, a lot of initia initiatives are under pressure. I think this is the most valuable human thing you can do because when you then ask again one day, hey, would you be interested in collaborating? Would you be interested in coming to this event? Would you be interested in contributing to this workshop? Would you be interested in sharing your knowledge? People will say yes if you keep them on board, if you let them be part of your story and part of the journey where you're on.